hey hey what's good guys it's your boy these old shades and souls today we have a very special unboxing this is not a nike shoe this is not an adidas shoe this is not a puma shoe this is not converse shoe it's not your luxury brand shoes but this is supposed to be a luxury sneaker I've never had one, never dreamed of having one, but because I support what this guy does and where he comes from, that's the only reason why I got this. And besides that, he's also in the military, which I myself am. So without further ado, this is FBCC or Flyboys Couture Club White Glow VV1s. This is size 8. That is not my true to size, but I have had um, previous encounters with uh, pure leather shoes, and this is supposed to be genuine leather, so I already know to go down half size. Uh, this particular colorway is actually very special and that's why he has this message right here. This shoe is dedicated to the strongest women in our lives, our mothers. Both our mothers have had battles with cancer. This shoe is also dedicated to my first daughter, Daily Array Braswell, who passed away right before her first birthday. To this day, I still draw my strength from my angel. I know she is, my, I know she is smiling down with excitement. Daddy did it, princess. I followed my heart and I ac accomplished my dream. I am now sharing my passion for fashion and design with the world. How can you not respect that? So, let's check it out. This is my first time seeing it, as you guys have seen. This is not edited or anything like that. Let's do this comes with a bag, it says Valedictorian, this is actually the name of the shoe, the Valedictorian, in fact if you guys uh, have followed um, Devlin Carter or uh, Saya Collections or Saya Collectives and, or FBCC Bay Area, um, when these shoes actually first came out, like in his store, people were lining up and they actually received a diploma for the valedictorian. Uh, the inspiration from the shoe, uh, I know it says that um, this was for her daughter and stuff, but the design aspect of this was actually um, Kanye West or the Nike Air Yeezys. So again, you know, uh, the Kent Kanye reference, and I guess that's why he called it Valedictorian because Kanye's album was the graduation. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's the reason why, but that's how I see it. And here are the shoes. As you can see, it is all leather. That's the left pair, is the right pair. Let me just show it, show you that portion right there all right outsoles they're not the smoothest in the world but this is not a performance sneaker it's not the smoothest it's not the softest neither but again this is for a casual shoe it says fly boys couture club Midsole, I don't know what type of rubber he used on this midsole. That's a traction pattern right there. And you know, you know what they say, man. The devil is in the details. So it says genuine leather, right? So we have, let's see how many. One, two, three, four, five different types of leather, okay? First leather, python leather. Let me hold up. Let me, let me actually take out the 
Okay, yeah, it does have some type of shoe tree. Here we go. Python leather. Look at that. Like you can just see the scales, man. Look, look at that. Scales. Python leather. We have the stingray leather. Can see that stingray that is actually a four foot strap see like that's that's leather man look look at that that is leather right there so that's a four foot strap you know what let's check the insides as well see that is genuine leather bro like look at that also in the forefoot I know it looks like a synthetic leather material but the reason why it looks like that is because the designer of this put a decreaser I don't know how that's implemented as you can see when I press down it's supposed to crease right but as soon as I let go the crease is gone so that's what a decreaser is for details man details look at the uh look at the lace holes right there all leather right all genuine leather look at that the laces they are leather as well that's how i know to people who are not familiar with leather laces they're like bro the product doesn't look finished that's how it's supposed to be because the finished portion of a leather is always like the front side and never the back side so there you have it that's the inside or the gut of the shoe but hey look at that look at the tongue man that's another type of leather that's ostrich leather right there if you're not familiar with that look it up that's ostrich leather right then we have a lace holder right here it says FBCC the tip of the laces we have some tassels just like uh, when you're graduating you know that's why it's called valedictorian right and so we skip to another portion of the shoe which is this whole overlay right here I know there's a scratch but whatever shit happens that's what happens if it's genuine material we have Italian leather right here man Italian leather the FBCC that's not embossed but it's debossed so the cut out you can see the leather right through it See, that's a cut out right there to prove that it's leather inside and then we have another portion of the ostrich leather in the heel area and let's see inside the shoe man okay so it still says FBCC Flyboys Couture Club and the insole is actually leather as well so there you have it that is the white glow vv1s from flyboys couture club um their website is you can buy the shoes at carpe dm fashion house uh, I think the uh, website is CP. Let me see. CPDFashion.com. Uh, their their store is in Oakland, but you can follow uh, the designer. His name is Devlin Carter. You follow him on Instagram at Sia S I A. That also stands for uh, somewhere in America. Saya Collectives, I, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, or Saya Collections. Um, follow him at FBCC Bay Area. I 
again that's fbcc bay area or carpe diem fashion i'm not sure if those are the correct ones but i'm just uh saying that top of my head and the reason why these are named white glows let me see if we can actually see it from here uh, give me a second That's why they're called white glows. Look at that, man. Look at that. Look at that glow, bro. I don't even think Nike's uh, glow in the dark glow that hard, man. Jesus. And my phone don't have a video night mode, okay? So... God damn! Ooh. Look at that. Like you can see it clearly, bro. Like even on my camera, like you, you, you can't see it clearly, right? But me seeing it right, right here, like in person. My God. My God, man. Ooh. White glows. Her daughter's glow from heaven. My goodness. Um, yeah, I didn't. Never talked about the price because this is really expensive. Um, but yeah. Let me put on an on foot for you guys. Alright, so. I just fitted the shoes, man. And right there on your on foot look. And I must say, I underestimated the damn shoe. It's it actually felt really good and the reason for that is because of the leather insoles so I know this was hard like this may just be like a casing and I don't know if there's a any soft rubber inside but but yeah uh, the leather insoles made it really soft to a point where I could not feel that this the entire tooling is actually hard and I'm glad I went down half a size because I have tried Hender Scheme Jordans before, tried them on, and I had to go down half a size in my true to size. And um, yeah, man, um, I know the shoes is expensive. Um, normally, I will not buy these types of, sho of shoes, but because just because how the shoe looks the genuine materials on it the guy that's making it the inspiration behind it um, and on top of that his military so such as uh, myself um, there was just no way I could not support what he was doing plus the shoe is a uh, basically inspired by a Yeezy shoe like when you look at it if you check out the red pair it looks like the red October if they came out with an all-white pair I bet you it would just look like this but in a low top but anyway thank you guys for watching thank you guys for your support and uh, don't forget to uh, support Devlin Carter the one who made the shoes as well Tell me if you guys uh, like the shoe or not. Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. And I appreciate you guys, man. I appreciate you a lot. Thank you, and I will see you guys soon. Peace out.